That's Olivier Giroud in the Liverpool shirt. He's playing for Liverpool in this save. That that is tremendous. Hello and welcome to episode 45 of the Lincoln City Youth Squad Legends series. Now it's been a while since one of the patrons got back to me, but we do have a new edit player, that's Stefan Magnussen going down here. Liam has customised him and now he looks like that. He's taken the number 18 off Rui Faria. So what I'm asking you guys to do is customise Rui Faria's appearance. Don't change his boots because they are amazing. Maybe now he's number 8 he'll think that he's part of the first team. Mind you, he is part of the first team, I guess. I do play him very often. We could get a brand new Rui Faria, although I very much doubt it. The first game of this episode we have a second round FA Cup tie at home against Not County. How many times are we going to play Not County in this series? Please let this be the last. Lincoln have got out a very weak defence. Salawu does all right. Bong's waiting for Castaneda. Oh, chance for Castaneda. He hits it early. He has belted it into the back of the net. It's a good finish by Castaneda. Power beats the keeper. Rui Faria. Oh, yes! Rui Faria's first team of all of them and the squad numbers worked. A battery died. <laughs> Rui Faria does something good and then kills the battery on my controller. Good man! Fine. If you wanted this, Rui, you could have just told me. I am going to give this penalty to Rui Faria. Now, I did ask you to customise him at the start of the episode, but I beg, if he puts this in, please don't change his squad number. Please don't. We want to see a good Rui Faria and not a terrible one through this series. It'd be nice if he turned his career around, even though he tries to steal the batteries off my controller. Go on, Rui! He's never going to do it. He'll pull Vilho in with a corner kick. Oh, Ca oh, Castaneda! Castaneda hits the crossbar with an overhead kick. Oh, and I was so close. Please help me. Good finish. Really good finish. We've had so many chances to already kill the game off. I mean, now 1-1. One, one. After House smashes it top corner, Burnson no chance saving that. Petrus Bong, go for it again. Petrus Bong, one on one! Yeah! Rui Faria's on the charge! Let's go, boys! Ilpo Vilho, have you got it in ya? Oh, what a goal by Ilpo Vilho! <laughs> it's a neat tackle there by Ronnie Latov, Lavici. I do will play it back to the Romanian. Not Sandoval. Petrus. Oh, runners. Castaneda. He will have to play it back, but it's a good header. Two Petrus Bong. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Caroga. We still have it here. Yes. I tried the dummy with Petrus Bong, but still, look at that play. Caroga's assist. Petrus Bong has a second, and it's 4 1. Slay that off. We got Karoga and now Ilpo Vilho just ripping up this wing. Oh my. Yeah, we'll have another penalty, thanks. Can we have a goal, please? Ilpo Vilho! That's not exactly. You know, you the it's not even the side that I went. I went the same side as I did with Rui Fubi. I missed two penalties. How has that happened? It's not even where I aimed it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I need to sort this out. I did, it's not, in, oh god. That was not even close to where I wanted to put it. I shouldn't be this annoyed at 4 1. If I miss a penalty that's at least the same way as I directed it to go, then fine. But that's not exactly where I wanted it to go. I wanted it to go to the right, and it ended up going like. Top left, kind of, maybe central, but slightly to the left. You need to fix your penalty system because it's absolutely terrible. Oh, but I don't know what I will do if you don't fix your penalty system. 
Because I'll still buy the game. Of course I'm a total sheep. And you know that we're total sheep. That's why you don't fix anything anyway. Oh, it had six goals. My team scored four of them. Why do I feel so deflated? What did Perry NG say when his hat fell off? My hat fell off. Since moving to Lincoln, Petrus Bung has become an avid collector of 50ps. The ostrich running around the Lincoln City training ground is called Mitch the Ostrich. Fair play. After this series, you should actually create a team of Harvey Holes. Sound. That's a great idea. Do you still play with the same sliders after the update? Well, currently, yes, but DK has got his own slider set up out, and I think... I might try it in the next game. Oh my god, I hate that Villa Hub chant so much! The ostrich's name should be Kude Jr. <laughs> okay, maybe Mitch is not the winner. That could be just a little bit better. I'm so sorry, but I am reading down these comments, and this Kude Jr. comment didn't get any likes, but that is funny. It really is Rui Faria FC. No, it isn't. It never has been. I think Kuroga should be sold next season and then bought back the season after that and repeat until the end of the series. No reason, just for the pants. I thought Portuguese wingers were supposed to be good. Faria must have never got that memo. Rest in peace, Adakunde. We hardly knew ye. Apart from your disallowed own goal that was an absolute stunner, but still, we hardly knew ye. Is Super Cooper a party pooper? No, he's a stormtrooper. It's time for the area semi-final in the Checker Trade Trophy. We got Blackpool against Lincoln. I want to win this competition so bad. You have no idea. 19 yard free kick teed up and running is there to block it straight away. That is an immediate charge down. Joel Tawomi waits, plays the ball in. Yoka Inke! Thank you very much. That low shot underneath the goalkeeper. E.K. Yuko, that man from Tokyo FC! Haiku me now! Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Rui Faria, he is alone, one on one. It is a goal kick. Wake me up before you go go. Who needs me when you go you go? Go on you go! Go on you go! Record! Switch that to Joel Tawomi. Nice first touch. Ed Kelly will play it backwards to Stefan Magnussen. The play is scintillating. Scintillating! Oh! Harvey Hall on a wing. That means Ed Kelly's in the box. But that one's going to Yuko! Great save, Mafumbi. Not much action going on. Pretty dull game. Gonna use DK sliders for the second half. See if that makes any kind of difference. Run frequency down to 20. Are you daft? Stay wide, stay wide. Yep, Cullen's gonna go inside. Book oh, I think he's onside. Uh, goal for Blackpool, bottom corner. It was a total mistake by myself controlling Phillips and not keeping to that defensive line. Keeper, please. Nice catch, Kude. Big throw out. A very impressive throw out. And here goes Harvey Hall. Let's go, let's go, boys. Keep running, keep running. Ed Kelly's on side. Sweaty. You oh, Yuko. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Rui misses shot. Tries to blame it on Harvey. Wakes up in trash bin. Come on then, boys. Yes. Harvey Hall into the box. Quick feet. Yuko Ike this time. It's 2 1 Lincoln City. Yuko Ike, baby. Yuko Ike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Last few seconds of this game. We have won it. We're going into the area final, it seems. Running goes down. That's it. Full time. We have beaten Blackpool by two goals to one. Two big teams in League One. I think Sheffield United are third. We are sitting pretty at the top. We're away at Bramall Lane. Vilho. Nice. Petrick Ball! 
Yeah, that'll be the improvement in the shot accuracy coming through right there as Petrus Bong just rifles that top corner. Rui Faria running down the wing. Everybody wants a piece of Rui. That's because they don't want to concede against him. Oh! What a cross, son. Love that. Petrus Bong on a plate. It's Castaneda. Oh, that's an incredible ball. Ronnie Latsov Levici hits the crossbar. Go on, Petrus. Keep going, keep going, Petrus Bong. Oh, unstoppable. Very nice. And with Charlie Green to just clip it over. Goal. Beautiful by Charlie Green. Thank you very much. 3 0. Green. Green will tear you apart again. Hang on. Oh, goal. Sheffield United have got one back before half time as the slide tackle was nowhere near where I actually intended it to go. That'll be the end of the action for the first half. Total domination by Lincoln City, but a decent individual goal by Mr. Brooks in the Sheffield United midfield. Wait for it, play the ball. Oh, look at this, Rui Faria! Can Rui Faria get a goal? Yes, he can! That's it, the sliders are no good, DK. It's 4-1 and Rui Faria scored. Petrus Bong surveys the field and decides to go himself and then plays it into Rui Faria! Rui Faria! Surely not, Rui! Saved by Jamal Blackman. <laughs> oh dear. No! Played it inside and Wicked Kingdom stopped that. What a great piece of defending. Petrus Bong, let's go! It's actually quite even in the shot count, but it doesn't feel like it in game. Maybe our chances are just way more clear cut. Uh, yes! Charlie Green pokes it for 5 1. To make it 6. Is it possible? Harvey Hall! Oh! Penalty, it had to be a penalty, didn't it? It was just shrugged off there. Can we finally now score a goal? It's Harvey Hall. Yes, we can. Nice finish. So a penalty is being converted at the third attempt. Sheffield United just dumped 6-1. Six, six goals by Lincoln City. And I tell you what, this slider setup is under scrutiny. Final game of the episode. We're still on DK sliders. If we give Luton Town an absolute smashing, we'll be going back to mine. Well, if there isn't goals in this, then I really shouldn't be a fan of football. Lincoln's strengths are on the wing and Luton Town are setting up with an incredibly narrow formation. It can only lead to one thing. Charlie Green, yes, this is it, surely. Harvey Hall with the 17th goal of the season. I can definitely see the ideas behind the slider setup. It just, it depends on your style of play, really. Super Cooper. Oh, now then, I think this is going to spin and stay in. For Castaneda to at least try and set up a goal! Oh! Harvey Hall made sure of that goal. It's Lincoln boys making all the noise for Harvey Hall! For Harvey Hall! For Harvey Hall! I'll be as polite as I possibly can. The slider setup is obviously not working for me. It seems like step overs are the AI's worst enemy. Oh, hello. Oh, no, we still can't put it in. What is he doing? What? He's just playing himself into trouble. Just playing himself into total trouble. Gaston, oh, you've got to score that. I guess it's nice to have a different view on sliders changing it up and uh, making it difficult for a different group of players but for me i'm cutting through this like heart knife through butter some people who might find my slider setup easy might go onto this and think it's quite challenging i'm glad that i use the slider setup for this game though because if i switch back that would have been a totally different story. Luton Town would have smashed me because I just didn't take my chances. So this has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. We'll have a look at the league table. We are sitting first 47 points. Top goal scorers, Harvey Hall now has 18-5 ahead of Petrus Bong. 
We'll do the training as well. As I say, farewell. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, press the red box. Hit the bell icon for mobile notifications. And I will see you next time. Why are you running? Why are you running?